Hi there! Have you heard about Adobe Captivate? In this video, we are going to talk about what is Adobe Captivate, how to use it, and show you a demonstration at the end of the video. So, what is Adobe Captivate? Well, it is one of the most used screen capture applications for creating demonstrations and e-learning presentations. So here, we want to show you some common features of Adobe Captivate. The first one is roll over. It allows the learners to be a little bit more engaged, more involved in learning, instead of reading a slide for the words. To do so, you can give them a shape. For example, I choose this one. And then we can type in some words. And then we go to Options. We choose Roll Over Caption. So as you can see, this blue box should cover the area that you want to roll over. And then in this clear box, we type in some additional information. We can also take out the blue cast simply by click white. And then adjust the opacity and width to zero. Don't forget to double check the timeline. Now let's preview and see how that works. So when I roll over, you can see the additional information. The other feature is quizzing. You can create interactive assessment to test the outcome of learning. Once you click on slides, there are two options to create quiz. Question slide for summative evaluation, usually put at the end of training and it is able to track and record points for quizzes. Knowledge check slide is for formative assessment usually put between sections of the learning to remind learners with the knowledge. Here we take question slide for example. There are many types of questions to choose. For example, multiple choices, true and false, matching. You can also choose the number of the questions you want. And then on the right side, you can see graded, survey, and pretest. Here we take multiple choice and true and false for example. Like PowerPoint, you are able to change the order of the slides. We type in our question at the center of the slide. And also type in the options. On your right hand side, there is a quiz panel to change the settings. As you can see, we can change the number of the answers. If I type in 5, they will automatically have 5 answers. And then, we can also inc include the buttons by click it back, or skip, or clear. Notice that Captivate will automatically generate quiz results at the end of the quiz. But you can simply remove the slides if you don't want the learners to see the results. Another great function of Captivate quizzing is that Share Content Object Reference Model, also known as SCORN, is available through both commercial and open source learning management systems, LMS. In this short demo, we will define what is ADI model and we will access your knowledge. So be prepared to learn about the most used model by instructional designers and remember the quiz will be part of the total grade for this training. The ADI model is a generic process traditionally used by instructional designers and training developers. The five phases, analysis, design, development, implementation and evaluation 
represent a dynamic, flexible guideline for building effective training and performance support tools. You can mouse over or roll over over each letter and you will find more information about the ID model. How many faces the ID model has? Is the ID model a genetic process used by instructional designers to develop learning deliveries? What does RE stand for? Match the following. So Adobe Captivate is dedicated to develop interactive trainings that will maximize engagement and the learning outcome. It is mostly used for corporate training due to its benefits in terms of management, such as connecting to the learning management system, as well as other HR systems. If you plan to become an instructional designer, we highly recommend you to play with it, and maybe it will be your new favorite. Thanks for watching us.